Hi there, my name is Vicky and I'm here with a new series on the Docker. In this Docker series or tutorial, you will learn from the basic to advanced level. This Docker series is further divided into chapters. So if you want, you can follow along step by step in order to get deep knowledge on the Docker. Here are the list of topics which I'm going to cover in this series. We'll start with the installation on the Docker on the Linux or Ubuntu machine. Then we will talk about the permission, understanding the architecture of the Docker. After that, we will do demos related to the Docker file and in the Docker file, we are going to cover all the keywords like the copy keyword, add keyword, work DIR environment. These things we are going to cover with the demo. And in the last, I'm also going to create a shell script where I'm going to delete all the unused containers and images with that script. Now, if you are here for the first time, then do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that you will get notified of the latest videos. Now in this video, we are going to learn more about the docker inspect command. Docker inspect command is very useful when we need to get detail for the container or for the image or for the volume, docker inspect command is very useful. So how do you use this docker inspect command? That is something we are going to learn in this video. So here I'm in my EC2 machine. So let me type docker inspect and with help parameter. Now docker inspect provide me with format, size and type. These three option it is providing me. Now the format, this string is very important. Okay. And one more thing, whatever we are getting from the docker inspect command, the detail which we are getting that is all in the JSON format. So even if we need to run any of the query inside the docker inspect command, we need to run it in the JSON format only. But we can also use the grep command as well in order to get a specific detail. But if we need a detail for a particular module, we need to run the JSON find command or JSON formatted commands. So let's see. As of now, I don't have any container running. So let me um, show it to you docker container ls. See, I don't have any container running. Do I have any volume? Yes, I do have the volumes with me. That's okay. Um, and docker images. Yes, I do have the images. Now let me run one container from Ubuntu image. So um, here it is docker container run minus itd and then we need to give the name minus minus name is equal to ubuntu container and then the name ubuntu okay great now my container is running let me verify uh, docker container ls yes my container is up and running now I need to get detail of this container. So how I will get detail of this with the help of the docker inspect command. Docker container inspect and then we need to give the container ID. If we are not sure like how to run this, we can always go with the help option. Here it says we need to give the option. So option is minus F minus S and the container or the container ID. So let me give the container ID here. So my container ID is this or we can also give a container name. So whatever I am comfortable with, I can go with that. So 0 E. Now I will get all the details related to my container. Now all those details is in the JSON format. Now let's suppose I need to use a grab command here. I can do that. Now let me scroll down a bit. Uh, let's suppose I need to get the IP address. Let me copy this format and with the same command grep what I need to grab this thing I will get and get these details but again this is not the recommended way because whatever the data we are getting we are getting in a JSON format so we also need to search in the JSON format only now these, these are the module like network setting is one of the module mount is one of the module image is one of the module id is one of the module right how to run these modules commands or how to you know 
get particular information so for that let me go now let's suppose we need to inspect the IP address so this is the command we need to do don't worry about this command I will provide you in the description all those commands so that you can use it so docker inspect minus minus f that is the format and we are giving a range here network settings network IP address and and in the last we need to provide with the container ID but let me see where is the network settings and the network so here is the network in the network it is going to get the IP address so this is the network from here it is going to get the IP address and here is the network setting so you can see this one is one module now in this module what I am doing is in the network settings this is the network settings I am getting the network detail from here and in the network detail what information I am getting the IP address great and in the last we need to give the container ID so my container ID is 0e let me go and provide that 0e now see I get the result right so by this way we can get the IP address let's suppose I need to get the gateway I can also get that just that I need to create my command and here in the IP address I can go with the gateway I will get the gateway detail the same way if I need to get any other thing like the network ID I can copy this I can create my own script here and just change it to network ID I will get the network ID so this is the way we can search in the JSON so how docker inspect minus minus format okay and then the range then the module then the sub module then inside the sub module what we need and then the container id whatever the information i need i can get that so from here let, let's suppose i need the mac address like this way i can create my own scripts and i can save it somewhere and use it whenever i require so here i am getting the mac address as well so I can actually play with this I can go to the other module like I can go to the config module and I can play with it if I need to now let me go with the next command let's suppose I need the path so again let me paste this thing docker inspect minus minus format the same thing log path now let me scroll up a bit where is the log path let's see here it is right huh? let me run the, run that in the last we need to provide with the container id or container name so we get this information let me verify that thing log path yes this is the way now let's suppose i need to get the host name so i need or i need the image let me copy this thing In place of log path I can go with this I'm getting the image ID let's suppose I need any other information like mm, name is here so let me go with the name Ubuntu container so I'm getting all those results it's just that I need to follow a proper format and once I'm going to do that I can create my own scripts like this and I will get whatever the information I, I need now these scripts I can run on any of the container it is not something that it is only going to work on a single container no it is going to be work on all the container whatever the container I'm going to create it will work these commands will work on all the container because this data will remain the same okay now let's see the next command now let's suppose I need the image name so from where I will get inside the config image now let me scroll up this is the config module and here we have the image name that is the Ubuntu so config and then Ubuntu the same way I can do the filter if I need to change this thing okay let me copy this and 0e I'm getting it Ubuntu now let's change it change it this is my module config and in config I need the environment detail so let's see I'm 
getting the environment detail let's suppose i need to get some other information in, inside the config where is config 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 here it is i don't have any labels entry point i don't have anything yeah we have the cmd so let's suppose i need the cmd information i'm able to get that right now i need to list all the ports so this is the command sorry i need to copy it one more time range ip config network settings and port and in the end we need to provide with the container id 0 in okay i don't have any port listed here so that is the reason it is not giving me anything because see the container which is running that is the ubuntu container and there is no port attached to it that is the reason i am not getting any detail now let's run one of the container with the port id so docker container we already have the command listed with us so let me copy it here is for the next cloud which i am going to run it on port number 8080 So it is unable to find the image locally. Now it is going to pull it from the Docker hub. And we have not given any of the tags. So it is pulling the latest. It is not going to take much time. Um, next cloud image is very small we are done now let me do docker container ls so we have one of the container running that is the image next cloud and it is running on port number 8080 and let me go with this command and in the end we need to change the container id a6 see i am getting this information let me go with the previous command like environment information if i need a6 so this is the environment information right so i can then these command these format i can then i can play with this format i can search from the docker inspect command i don't have to go through with the complete command and if you are not okay to follow this this format if you think this format is bit tricky you have one more way so what you can do is like you can go with the docker inspect command docker i will go with container inspect and then the container id a6 now this one you can copy it go to your visual editor or whatever the editor you are good well paste it here now search it so this is the second way of searching the things if you are not comfortable with the json format json this thing this format if you are not comfortable you can also do this way as well to get the information or you can also use the grep command to get the information okay now let's see if we have covered all the commands okay this is for the particular module if i need to call the particular module i can call it like this a6 so here i am calling the config module so it is telling me all the detail related to the config all right like this way if i need to get the network setting i can also do that network settings so i'm getting all the detail related to the network settings so by by this way i can play with this docker inspect format command and i will get all those information now this this command will work on all the container so i can run on this container or any other container i can run that and i will get all the details regarding that container so this is all about the docker inspect command if you like this video do subscribe my channel and hit the like button thank you